green? Hmm. Uh, who is that girl? Isn't that uniform... What? I is that your sister? Look deep in your heart and you'll find your answer. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. I'm Elise, Reen's sister. I apologize for cutting in, but would it be possible for me to borrow him for a while? Yeah, the last time I saw you was when I came back to Ymir at the end of last year. But I always thought we'd have a chance to meet up after you enrolled here. That's entirely beside the point. Heimdall is just 30 minutes from Trista by train. Add 20 more minutes travel time to get from Central Station to my school. But I suppose you're so tied up that even 50 minutes is too much time to spare for a little visit. Yes? I was never distant! Maybe it seemed that way because... Well, it's kind of a personal thing. I'd rather not talk about it. it. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that I've never thought of you as a bother, ever! And I swear on Adios' name that I never will! Really? <coughs> I'm glad to hear it. After growing up together, you're the last person I'd want to feel distant from. Well, our lack of communication has definitely been on my mind, but that's not the main reason I came here today. Do you really not know why I came? not why I came either. The issue here is the final part of your letter. What did you mean by, even if I don't though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live, or by wanting to repay mother and father? You make it sound as though you intend to sever ties with them. You can't honestly be thinking that you're going to quietly bow out of succeeding father as head of the family, are you, Re- related to us by blood, but you're still father's only son, and the right of adopted children to succeed their family name is recognized under imperial law! Oh.
You don't get it. You don't get it at all. You don't understand how father feels. You don't understand how mother feels. And you don't understand how I feel. <laughs> You're the worst! Why do you always have to be so stubborn? I hate you! I hate you! Yo, Reen, what's up? Thank you. 
Don't you dare start acting like you're above me, Reen Schwarzer. Just because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. Worst. Why does he never think about what would make him happy? I'm such an idiot. Why can't I just be more honest with him? Who might you be? That's the uniform of Heimdall's St. Astraea Girls' School, if I'm not mistaken. What brings a lady like yourself? <laughs> I, I... No, no, I, I apologize. W wait, right. I... My name is Patrick. Patrick High Arms. I'm sure you've heard the... High Arms? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Baron Schwarzer. Ah, Elise. Such a lovely sounding name. Wait a second. Schwarzer? A as in Reen Schwarzer? Are you his sister? I yes Reen is my elder brother. Ugh, why does she have to be related to that Cretan? But wait, he was adopted. That means they aren't... It seems you're not on the best of terms with my brother. I don't wish to cause you any unpleasantness, so I'll just excuse myself. N no no you aren't. I, I mean... Uh, wait! I'll show you where I
What the hell is that? A, a giant suit of armor? What's happening? Is he trying to suppress his power? <sighs> no, not going to be swallowed by it any more. What? You're not thinking of leaving me out of the action, are you? Take care of the girl, Catastrophe! Don't call me that either! Thanks. I owe you one. No problem. Let's fire up those combat links. at me my turn leave it to me
Arcus activate! <laughs> My turn! Alright! Here we go! <laughs> Alright! Arcus activate! My turn! Here! Here we go! Ha! Yeah, you're, yeah done. you're done. Cross Raven! Raven. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Handsome and strong, I'm the total package. I did it! I thought I'd finished my crash course in craziness half a year ago. <laughs> Thanks, Crow. So you can use Arcus too? Yeah, I was part of the trial program for Class 7. That's how I met Toa, George, and Jellica. I see. Reen? Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Uh, I'm fine. I just lost my balance when that tremor hit earlier. But thank you for protecting me, just like you did back then. No, this time was different, wasn't it? I... Yeah, I pulled through. Somehow. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh. Here comes the cleanup crew. Is your sister... A what happened here? A giant suit of armor? It looks like something imbued with the magic of the Dark Ages. I can't begin to imagine what must have transpired here. Well, a tough fight did, at least. You're all here. Ugh, <sighs> good grief. <sighs> I'm so relieved you were able to find your sister and that everyone's okay. She's even more of a beauty than I'd imagined. Oh! I'd love to get some hands-on time with that door in this suit of armor. I swear, it's almost comforting how you guys never change. But hey, what took you, Instructor? Sorry about that. Still, it looks like you guys managed to handle things just fine without me. I take it this big lug came from inside that door? Yes, I was just looking at it when suddenly... Hold on. Let's just give our report starting from the top. Misty. 
You're listening to Radio Trista. It's July 18th and things are finally cooling down now at 9 p.m. So pour yourself a cold drink and let's roll right into tonight's Aubin Time. Sh- it's just over a week until Heimdall kicks off its summer festival, a month after the rest of the country. I'm sure plenty of you out there might be thinking of the concert in the Heimdall Opera House or the summer races, but the festival is best known for its opening day events, traditionally attended by members of the Imperial family. This year, Crown Prince Cedric will be making an appearance at the ceremony in Heimdall Cathedral, and his sister, Princess Alfin, will be attending a posh garden party sponsored by Heimdall City Hall. I would have loved to see the Empire's two greatest treasures in person, but alas, I can't get away from work that day. But don't you worry, I'm still planning on winning my bets on the summer races. I'll let you know how I do. If you're not old enough to place a bet, don't worry. You'll be able to make questionable financial decisions soon enough. Moving along, I'm sure by now many of you have heard about the ongoing construction of the giant building in Crossbell State. It's supposed to be even taller than the Rhineford building in Ruhr, making it the continent's first true skyscraper. The latest reports say that construction is almost complete and that it'll be unveiled at next month's trade conference. A lot of you have been writing in about it, so I'll be sure to keep you posted with all the latest. 